was wondering when you turn up. Hello from all our friends thanking you for your timely intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? Luck, I suppose. Any word on the rest of the realm? Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. The nations are still in chaos. And the skies are still the color of a kick in the kidneys two days on. So... Right. Clive, we knew this was gonna happen. Well, not the bleeding skies, Bart. But you take my point. Now's not the time to second-guess yourself. Now's the time to visit the infirmary. Taya says your brother's awake. Thank you, Otto. So it was not Sylvester, but... Olivier, who served as Ultima's puppet, and when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. <sighs> Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. Had I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed. But now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua, what do you know of Ultima? Very little, I'm afraid. Despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? That is one of many answers that have eluded me. Yet, I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire, and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. But you, Clive. You are different. You are special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit. But they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. His mind? Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. This is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. I'm sorry. Inside you? With every setting sun. I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. 
But that doesn't mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me. Joshua. Clive, it's Gav. There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. Well, what's the short of it? Uh, it's all tired, I told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide, but numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No, but they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. Mm. And we shall. Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian, what's the swiftest route to the free cities? <laughs> that sounds like a question for the map. Look here. This road, through Tabor, should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua, bed is where you should be bound. You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Were Taya not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to agree. But, thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant, who was to wait for me in Tabor if we became separated. All right, we travel together. Clive! If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. Thank you. It's like a dream, the four of us out walking like we used to. Enjoying this, are you? Gav and the others could be in danger as we speak. You're right. I'm sorry. Yote is a fine scout. If Canva was attacked, she will already have begun gathering information. Tabor isn't far. We should pick up the pace. Assuming they would allow it, the Echoes have a will of their own. Tell us about Rota, Joshua. She's strong-willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners.
Another ether flood. They're everywhere now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. been to Tabor before? There are a few places I haven't. Where now, Joshua? There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. My Lord Marquess, it is an honor. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Uh, of course. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Ein Herjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Ein Herjar is the Royalist's flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva? Then it is Waluda Knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them? Yes. And the Black Galleon sails up at one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened hulls choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The realm teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. 
Christ. Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. Not quite. How dare you? Distinguished members of the Council, you must forgive His Majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king, he has come to save us from the Akashic. He is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. <laughs> ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them and see our guests to the dungeons! <laughs> Enough. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, your majesty. Come, Muthos. Surely the Prince's light cannot have sated you. So then... How long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas's actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. Gate, Drake's breath, and now here. But what is it? It is old, ancient, even. Naught's remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apolitry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. That figure in the center. The one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it. Like you, Clive. Which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. 
No, I don't suppose they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omiya lost Delan to his Sag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If... if that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word. Farewell, my lord, my lady. We are in your debt, Yote. Let's find our friends. It's plain she cares for you. Opportunity beckons. Who among you is bold enough to hear that? Cyril. How fares the search? Well, Your Grace, my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged, at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril, Knight of the Undying and Bearer of the Burning Quill. Charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of His Grace, Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix, and rightful Archduke of Rosaria. I entrusted Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many undying are there? Not nearly enough, milady. Yet we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is and has ever been our creed. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? The Phoenix is our sun, and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. Pray accept this token. For as long as you bear it, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you, if there is nothing further. No. You are dismissed. Your Grace. To Canva, then. We'll talk about this later. Cyril seemed... You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua.
Three cities and a sea? Good girl. Free men are still holding their own, then. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. Sounds like thunder. You're late. <laughs> I was starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. Or even listening most of the time. Name's Middadol. But everyone calls me Mid. My lady. Hey. My boy. Uncle Byron. <laughs> it's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> So these Akashic are being controlled. That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? Uh, dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the Horde arrived. Some in the merchant's district to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? 
We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. Shall we then? And you keep Clive safe. Be careful. Both of you. You too. find those survivors. They don't stand a chance against those things.
survivors inside.
Commotion. But then I would expect no less from you, Muthos. You again. I don't believe we've been introduced. You were in my family's crypt. And now you're here. With an army of Akashic thralls. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men. Like you and me. Albeit one's uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are... divine. What? And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. You'll pay for what you've done. As you wish. I confess, I have been very much looking forward to this. Pardon me, this indulgence, your majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. I am the of House Harvard. And you will yield! Or not. Chosen one. Perhaps this will kindle your flame. What now? A gift from my liege lords, are they? Ungnir. Watch closely, Mythos.
The vessel is strong. My liege. As are you, I see. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. I fear we were all too late. What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. <laughs> Leaving so soon, Mythos? It's the king. Indeed, you may kneel before Barnabas Tharm, Warden of Ash and King of Walud. Get back. Did my lord commander. Yet I see why my master covets you so. The power within you, Mythos. The potential. Stop calling me Mythos. But Mythos is everything. The cornerstone of all creation. The lord's vessel. Your purpose. Purpose? To surrender my mind and body to that thing? No, your majesty. My purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer. One that must be excised. Hurry! <laughs> 
beyond the reckoning. And they use it as a crutch. Such a waste. Will you be all right? The Phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly is filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we were up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> Tis no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some girl you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? I... wouldn't go that far. Clive! You're awake. My boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father, who taught me that. Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. What of the Royalists? Fucked off, the lot of them. Along with the Galleon. With the King on board, no doubt. Yain yeah, here, I wouldn't say without him. <sighs> Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. <laughs> we must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King, I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him, because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? Uh, well, of course I do. My dad has seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings... If you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition? You really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself.
Right. Gav said that Otto might know something. Cole said it was an army of a cash. How are we supposed to do our duty? The hills are crawling with a Kashik in the valleys of full of... Still alive, are ya? Go on, then. It'd better all be here. You'll not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Let's not be greedy now. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here. You'll not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Is that all? So what do I owe the honor? What do you want? work, but it'll do. Yeah, that should do ya. Yeah. My best work, but it'll do. If it's knowledge you seek,
But if you're here, where the hell is everyone else? Don't tell me. They're all right. But it's a long story. You lot don't do things by halves, do you? Well, at least everyone's still breathing. Now, as for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. But we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items we gave to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop. supposed to do our duty. If Amber and the Lazarus are gone, do you think Mid's ship will ever sail? This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. But you'll already have read it. I'd better keep looking. Well, that's it then. What do we have here? Oh, Sid's pipes. Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. I remember seeing this doll in Sid Sala. I wonder if it was Mid's. this tucked inside it. Sid's best invention. Hmm. That sounds promising. So Sid hid something in Mid's first opus. What would that be? We've had no word Perhaps Otto might know. Please. Please tell me Mid is all right. Deaf as a banshee, unless you mean the orchestrion. She couldn't have been more than what, 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together. It would surprise us all, not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. What's that battered old box have to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. <laughs> wouldn't surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. How are we supposed to do our duty in the hills? I didn't break it. Well, I didn't break it. What didn't you break? We didn't break nothing, but we definitely didn't break the orchestra. <sighs> What's wrong with it? It's broken, except when it isn't. <laughs> 
Nancy? And you had nothing to do with this? Nope, nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. So we press all the buttons. Like this. See? <sighs> all too well. All right, out of the way. started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Well, don't look at me. I can tell you it's important, though. Sid showed it to me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. <sighs> Let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Indeed. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. Just the two I was looking for. Aye, aye. Who's a patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Dion left? Unless you've another word for stood up and walked off. Yes, left. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelis before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. We're not the Prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? Uh, ask me when I get back. Though I may be some time. Then at least try to stay safe. And if that fails, try to stay alive, eh? Every moment I waste here, the further the flagship sails. I have to get back.
Clive? My dad had it all worked out. He'd be proud of you, Mid. His writings may have helped, but this achievement is all yours. <laughs> Can we catch them? The INAR is one of the largest, fastest vessels ever built. And it won't help she has the wind at her back. Any other ship would be hard pressed to keep pace with her, let alone reel her in. But this isn't any other ship. This is the Enterprise! And the world's never seen anything like my dad's engine. It certainly hasn't. Clive, what do you know of Barnabas Tharm? Only what the bards sing. And he sailed to ash from southern lands. That it was his mastery of the blade which won him the throne. And that his sword, Odin's sword, can sever the very threads of creation. But don't lose any sleep over a last tilt. We'll do what we must to survive. What we must. The light! I thought this cove was meant to be hidden! Mid! Company! Hey? We'll hold them off until the ship is ready! But hurry! Bullets! Everyone with me?
That was easy enough. All right, you lousy lot. Get your horses on board. She's ready to sail. You heard the captain. <laughs> Clive? But I thought he was... Confounded. Then it is as I feared. Sleipnir is no man, but a creation of Odin. His fiery fundament. Have you no normal enemies? Up for another round? Of course we are. Right, Lord Rossfield? My boy, there was a time people called me the executioner. Or was it my office? No matter, heads will roll all the same. Mate, new plan!
What do you want? That's quite a mess you've made. And wholly unnecessary. <sighs> you are my offering to Muthos. I would not see you damaged. I don't suppose Mid has a spare engine. <laughs> Since you rose from the grave, my fortunes have plummeted. Are you absolutely certain of this quest of yours, Clive? The foes you face are as terrible as they are numerous. Aye, and they'd have us live and die on their terms, which should answer your question. Ah. You have that same stubborn look as your father did when he set his mind to something. On the battlefield, I am but a single axe. A deadly one, mind, but a single one nonetheless. Yet what you require is a thousand, and I believe my old friend in Brandalar can provide them. Take care, Clive. I have many more tales of your father's exploits to share. And I cannot very well do that if you're dead. Again. Good luck, Uncle. And may fair winds attend you. As for you, Joshua, take care. I shall do my best, Uncle. Farewell, my nephews. When next you see me, it shall be with an army at my back. Cheerio! <laughs> 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 Do keep up, my boy! Well, we can't have him showing us up now, can we? We would never hear the end of it.
what have I done? My lord! Near in Walud, but any ship heading north has to round Zemeckis and put through the narrow. Maintain our current bearing north northeast, and we'll catch the Black Galleon before she vanishes again. What's to prevent her from circling around Ash from the south? With these winds in those waters, it's taken forever and a fortnight to reach Stone here. Mid knows what she's talking about, Clive. Better than any of us lot, anyway. I say we do as she tells. Sails on the horizon. She's ours. Look alive, boys! Pull ahead! And keep those furnaces fed! Aye, aye! Do you feel that, Jill? All hands! Battle stations! Let's see what this girl can do. Where one leads, so does the other follow. The bond of consciousness which joins them condemning both to the same fate. Yet my every attempt to strike it from their hearts serves only to tighten its hold. Oh, 
wants him alive! Hold on. I'm coming. For both of you. Play later. Pads. Can you walk? 
out of here I can. <laughs> And still! Phoenix... Are you not the dominant of fire? I see naught before me but a guttering flame. To where? survive. This consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation, and thus has my master turned to my blade. The world will soon be painted in black. And all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the Mother Crystals and restore balance to the world. Come. Do you truly think it's so simple? The Blight is inevitable. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. Your efforts will avail us naught. Naught, that is, but suffering. You must embrace the truth, Mythos. Accept your place with the Lord. Keep it. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. Never led astray by your blind resolve.
it is time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. However much it may hurt. Get as far away as you can. Clive, no! Trust me, Jill. down, dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Who are we? What are the dominance? The breath of the Creator still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. We are but mighty acts of God. We are more than that! You would be nothing without what he has granted you. The power we wield is his, and yet every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us, it unmakes us, that its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The Icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. Apart from you, Mythos. You wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What I am saying... ...is that we dominance are a means to an end. 
We were created for you. That you might drink deep of our strength and thereby fulfill your divine purpose. Which is? To feed. As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard. As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord, in his mercy, has taken pity on his flawed creations, and shall see them restored to their proper forms. And what exactly would that be? Why, loyal servants to God. No. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men, like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are... divine. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Not turn, Mythos. Turn back. For too long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills. It is time they return to a world of quiet equality, where they might once more know salvation. Salvation? And abandon everything we hold dear? We don't need your... Salvation. We'll save ourselves, and we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours, and not your gods. With every defiant expression of your will, the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps that fact may be put to use. The faster it binds you to the remaining dominance, the stronger your hunger will become. Until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. Mayhap not by the path my master intended, but back all the same. Ash is not far. I could freeze a path. You're in no fit state. Probably not, but I can try. Don't look back! The others are safe. The Enterprise was clear of the gap when we fell. They made it, Jill. And they will have seen the ice. Where it led. We need only wait till dawn. This is the second time Barnabas has bested me. I'm powerless against him. And maybe there really is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. Only you won't do that. The Clive I know would never do that. So you believe? But do you really know me? If what Barnabas said was true, then... I'm more monster than man. And each time I summon the flames from within, I 
burn away the things that make me who I am. Do you, though? Think of what you've used that power for. Of all the people you've saved. It doesn't matter how or by whom it was granted, only how you choose to use it. And you've chosen to use it for good, haven't you? I've also used it to kill. What if that's my purpose? What if it's all I'm good for? You're still that same boy I grew up with. Always so eager to save everyone around you. And yet always so alone. Because you failed to realize the one thing that needed saving most of all. You, Clive. You. You never once took the time to save yourself. Myself. I think I might be beyond saving. No one is beyond saving, provided they want to be saved. You fight to survive. And you survive so that you may protect those you love. It's what you do. What you've always done. And I know you're not about to change. So I'm going to help you. To give you what you need to protect us all.
that we might one day look upon the moon again together. And I promise you, Clive, that I will be there no matter what you must become. I know. I never thought a smile could bring me so much joy. What of Barnabas? Do we pursue him? No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Besides, there is something we must do first. Of course. Drake's spine. The last Mother Crystal. The Einherjer is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on storm without her. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. Ash will have to wait. Mid says Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale. But there's tall, and then there's tall. I struggle to believe it myself. I see your uncle isn't with you. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherja, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sail for Ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard, the place was still overrun with Akashic. Show me a city where that isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up the hideaway. But I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Let's hope so. Visit 
Joshua. Assuming Tai will allow it. How are you feeling, Joshua? Better than I was. But not nearly as well as you should be. Your cuts and burns may have healed, but your body still bears the burden of every spell cast. Then what would you have had me do? It was no ordinary foe we faced. It was the Warden of Darkness. Yet still, it was not enough. The King could have ended me at any moment, but instead chose to toy with me like a... Curl does a mouse. Yeah. You underestimate yourself. Oh, it was crystal clear. Only one man established his dominance that day, and that man was Barnabas. I'm sorry, brother. That was ill-spoken. It's just... I have never felt so powerless. And when so many are looking to us for strength, perhaps... No, perhaps the prince feels the same. What is this place? <gasps> Don't move! It's fresh from the well. Grandmother told me spirits sometimes get lost, and that the lanterns guide them to their proper place. I set one on the river for her when she passed away. Was it you who guided my hand then, Ultima? No, 
Not you. This is my doing. My fault. My sin to bear. And for it, I must atone. Your hurts are healing nicely. It was my poultices that saw you well. You make them. And sell them. Or try to. Earns me enough for bread, most days. Forgive me. I have nothing to... I know, but I couldn't just leave you lying there. <sighs> You're going then? Of course. I'm healed. Thanks to you and your poultices. Will you promise to come back and visit? Phoenix, it would seem that I owe you my wings. Perhaps he can find an answer. You will be returning to Walud soon, I gather. I see no reason to wait. Then neither do I. I can think of a few, but I doubt they'll stop you. You will take your medicine. Of course, Lady Tyre. Set on leaving already, are you? How long will it take us to get back to Ash? Dunno, about the same amount of time it took us to get here. Maybe less, if your uncle can find someone trustworthy to patch up the Enterprise. All depends on where we're putting into port, mind. Yes, it's not as if we can put ashore wherever we choose. We have to assume that the whole of Ash is hostile, and that we'll be attacked on sight. Then we must find a place they won't think to look. And I have an idea who might know of one. The Professor! I'll go and tell you coming! While you're plotting our course, I'll be in the shelves with your lawsman. I wish to pick his brains about Ultima. Then I'll talk to Karen about supplies for the journey. They may not be easy to come by in Ash. Your brother's body won't take much more of this recklessness. You know that, don't you? I do. still say it were a compliment. Ah, Clive. I was wondering when you'd arrive. Please tell me you've come to take our young prodigy here off my hands. I'm not here for mid. I need information on Ash. Then why not ask Molly if you can look in one of her ovens? <sighs> Go on. As soon as the Enterprise is ready, we'll be setting out for Drake's spine. And we're going to need a safe place to land. Preferably one that won't see my ship blown to shit and splinters. If it were that easy, do you think Walud would have res resisted invasion for so long? Very little is known of Ash, and the information we do have is spotty and outdated. We have the good King Barnabas to thank for that. Walud's borders have been closed to outsiders since the day he seized the throne. If there is anywhere safe to land, you won't find it on my map. 
and tell us what we will find. I'm sure you know better than we do. But no splinters. All right, all right, if it will get you out of my hair. But interrupt me, and it's over. Understood? Barnabas Tharm, the one they call the Last King. Understand him, and you will understand the Kingdom of Walud. Barnabas was only a boy when he arrived from beyond the southern seas, and barely a man before he united the ragged tribes of Ash. And having unleashed them upon the formidable Veldemark, he set his throne upon the ancient kingdom's ruins. The victory sent shockwaves around Valisthea, tales of Odin's might spreading through every court, parlor, and drinking hall in the realm. Note that this was in the year 843, and that the king still sits upon his throne some 40 years later, quite untouched by time. Walud's recent inaction left many wondering if Odin had lost his appetite for war. And yet here we are. The Einherjar was committed to the fray, a bold declaration of intent. Orcs swarm around Drake's Fang, and throngs of Akashic haunt canvas streets. Though how precisely the havoc they wreak serves Walud remains unclear. Regardless, if the order to attack truly came from King Barnabas, then one thing is certain. Walud has achieved the impossible and made bedfellows of beast men and the ether adult alike. All of which is a roundabout way of saying that you will be in unknown territory when you set foot on Ash. Much of the continent has already been lost to the Blight, and what few ports remain will be fiercely guarded. And that is to say naught of its natural defenses. Offshore currents will cast an ill-equipped ship out to sea one moment, and dash it against the rocks the next. But then the Enterprise is anything but ill-equipped. And Mid has made land there before. Now, if only there were someone with an intimate knowledge of the Shadow Coast, and where a daring gentleman might put ashore. You see, Clive, you had the answer all along. Do you think you can get us back to that beach, Mid? Picked you up from it, didn't I? Not that it were easy. The currents were right, bastard. But then, if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worth doing, would it? Well said. Thank you, Lady Vivian. If a few morsels of common knowledge and a sprinkling of tavern talk are worthy of your thanks, I wonder what genuine intelligence might earn me. Probably more visits. Mid. I need everyone in the ale hall now. I'll fetch Joshua from the shelves. Aye, aye, Captain. Covered in mix and lumps, the Lord. You must listen to this. Lawsman, tell him. Do you recall when we spoke before on the divinity of Ultima? Well, it inspired me to delve deeper into the subject. And what I discovered appears to agree with the findings of his grace. You will recall that my quest to uncover Ultima's origins began with the mural at Phoenix Gate. But while I've always known it to be important, its secrets have heretofore eluded me. Now, however, I believe I know where to find the more complete example. One that will reveal all we seek. Master Clive, have you ever in your travels chanced to hear of the Circle of Malleus? I would think not, few have. 
But there was once a time when the faith flourished, the oldest known religion in the twins. And though its popularity eventually waned on storm, hints of its dogma remain embedded in more modern faiths such as the Crystalline Orthodox. Wait, you said it waned on storm. What of ash? Religious monuments are often torn down or repurposed when new faiths rise to prominence. But if no new faith arose, then perhaps the ancient temples might still stand. And so, you see now why I must accompany you to Walud. It would appear the past still has much to teach us. Though in this case, it would not have been possible without the musings of Moss. <laughs> Think that you carried a copy of my old mentor's chronicles all along. I am relieved to discover it in good hands. I shall guard it with my life. Joshua, if you're finished here, join me in the ale hall. I need to speak to everyone before we leave. Right away. If it please your grace, might I one day... Borrow the chronicles for a short while. Of course. Mid said I can ride the Enterprise. My apologies. By now you've all heard where we're going and why. So I won't bother you with the boring details, only the important ones. If we attempt to approach Stone here by sea, there's a good chance we'll be sighted and fall prey to the capital's artillery. So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for Drake's spine on foot. I say we, but... It's highly likely the entirety of Ash is under the rule of Ultima. A large party would only attract unwanted attention. As well as slow our march, and require supplies which may be difficult to obtain. Only Joshua and I will be going. And a scout. Preferably a good one. Gav, do you know of any? You bet your ass I do. Might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's maps, though. Just in case, like. Once you've dropped us off at the Shadow Coast, you need to retreat into neutral waters, fly merchant colors, and stay inconspicuous. If you sense any danger at all, you leave us behind and return to Storm. Inconspicuous is my middle name. But like hell am I leaving anyone behind. The ship ain't going nowhere till your scurvy mugs are smiling on deck. Jill, the Enterprise will appear a tempting target for Royalists and Pirates alike. You're to stop anyone boarding. Don't worry. I'll keep the ship and her crew safe. You'll be needing passage home, after all. But... Very well. If there are no questions, I'll see you all at the docks. Let me know when you're leaving. I want a word before you go. Of course. wish his friend farewell. Just wanted to let you know that I'll keep things in order while you're off saving the world. I'll hold you to that.
Reckon it'll be a long walk to the capital if we follow the cliffs. I'll scout ahead. See if I can't find us an inland route. Clive. Hmm? There's something I've been meaning to ask. You took her icon, didn't you? Yes, I did. She understood. Oh, she understood. Understood that you decided to save the world all on your own, and that you'd die without her power. How dare you make her choose? You knew damn well she'd never refuse you. But I will. You can't keep pushing us away, Clive. The world is ours to save, not yours. I used my gift because I thought it was the right thing to do. And you truly believe this will save you? Will save us all? I do. Then so be it. Just don't forget, you're not alone. <sighs> Think I found us a trail? Uh, did I miss something? Only that Joshua didn't. I don't get it. Always wanted to visit Ash. We're in Waluda territory now. Don't expect a warm welcome. Oh, I don't know, Clive. That castle over there looks inviting. Shall we sample its inhabitants' hospitality? Good girl. Remember what I said about warm welcomes, Gav? Oh, this place is as dead as Grieg as ghost. <sighs> I knew I smelled something. I see only orcs and Kashyyyk here. Let's hope the villagers made it out in time.
It's Camber all over again. Where the hell are the royalists? Seems you're right about that welcome after all, Clive. delegation. We should send a warning to the others. No. My uncle will have an eye on the coast. I trust he'll find a way to entertain any uninvited guests. Our mark is Drake's spine, and there's a lot of road between us and it. We press on to stone here. Aye, you never know. It might not be an Esther Slather and monsters. <sighs> Clive, you must go on ahead without me. This stronghold is as old as Phoenix Gate, perhaps older. It may yet hide Ultima's remaining secrets, and if we are to best him, they must be unearthed. All right. Stay out of trouble. I always do. Mostly. Share about this. About leaving my brother on his own. Of course. Mostly. Lady Vivian's map is so old, it's hard to tell which way is up. But if I'm right, we're not far from a village called Eastler. Then we make our way there, resupply, and wait for Joshua. like a mortal's asshole. Though I'm guessing it's not the smell that'll kill us. Toggle. <laughs> that must be Estla.
What do you think, Clive? Then we're too late. Damn it. They're all turned. There's nothing we can do. I wouldn't say nothing. Let's <laughs> 
Gav. Gav! Don't tell me there's more of the bastards. Oh, fuck. Have you come to watch, Odin? Bound for stone here. Good. My master awaits you in the capital, though I cannot allow you to attend him in your present state. And how are you going to stop us? Why, with this! What did you do? If the vessel would see the path opened, it has but to ask. I shall see that my master's prize is made. Presentable. mind telling me what the fuck just happened? <sighs> oh, you've got to be. How are we supposed to get through that? We seek an audience with the king. If His Majesty wants me to come and ask him, then that is exactly what I'll do. Before you go practicing your petition, we don't even know where the fucker went. How about we cool our heads and think this through, eh? Maybe there's something here we can use.
we got them all. So did I. Well, this isn't at all foreboding. All right. Who? My thanks, kind travelers. Edda, forgive me for asking, but what went on here? started when the skies changed. The elders said it was the Ark. One by one, people went mad. Minds taken by the ether. Till only I remained. By then, I was too far alone to run. And, and then the nights came. And I didn't know what to do. Parents told us when we misbehave about how the heavens would grow dark before the land took her last breath. The end of the world. You said the others went mad, but where did they go? They. they all left. East to the tower, to Reverie, the elders, the healer, the blacksmith, my husband. You thinking he did this? Of course. Who else could it be? You were in Canva. You saw what he did to the people. But then what about her? How come her nut hasn't cracked? The baby, perhaps? Could be protecting her from the ether. I can't think of any other explanation. You mean... it's a bearer? It won't matter what it is once Ultima's magic takes hold. Time's running out. This tower, that's where we'll find the king. I knew it. It's the same as Phoenix Gate. Which means at the end of these stairs should be...
The mural is complete. Ultima and his vessel, Ifrit. Garuda, Ramu, Shiva, Titan, Bahamut, Odin. Even Leviathan the Lost is here. But where is the Phoenix? By the founder. <laughs> so that's what you want, isn't it, Ultima? So that's how it's gonna be, then. I'm not asking, Gav. I need you to stay with Edda. What? I must do this alone. If I don't return, you're to find Joshua and make for the Enterprise. Understood? <sighs> Aye. Don't you go dying on me. Sid's name suits your miserable mug better than mine. <sighs> Don't worry. I haven't finished with it yet. Barnabas is controlling the Akashic, then wherever he goes, they'll follow, and so will I. Let's go. All right. This is it, boy.
I've come for you, Barnabas. Stay close, Torgal. Oh, my God. 
If I were Barnabas, where would I be? The top. So I could look down on the world. This one.
that's new. Though I expected it for that.
Almost there. Here, I can feel him. The blade must ever feed if her edge is to remain keen. Butcher. What care you for these worthless creatures? They are nothing. Weak from the moment of their conception, ever longing for power not theirs to command, they turn unfailingly upon themselves. Like sheep 
They roam in filthy flocks, eager to trample those few gifted a fleece of gold. Or that they might feel contentment with their pitiful existence. Prejudice and persecution, severance and strife, every earthly wrong springs from the malice in men's hearts. Malice born of the pain and suffering that is free will. Its corruption is gnawed at your being from the very moment of your birth. You're wrong. It is no corruption. It is who I am. Every choice I make, right or wrong, gives me reason to carry on. And carry on I shall. Not as a puppet, but as a man. Which are you? <laughs> there was a time I too thought those the only choices. What? Long ago, God granted man the gift of magic. And with that gift did he build great civilizations. Yet over time, man lost sight of the gift's true meaning. Stepping from the path of shared prosperity to one of avarice. He abandoned his creator for sword and flame, and through his folly, beckoned the blight. Yet, there were those few who refused to turn their eyes from the heavens. And they prayed to God that he might lead them back to righteousness. And the Lord, he did answer. Before the worthy shall the gates of paradise open. And so did I spread my arms to the ether and cast my soul upon its gentle waters. I gave myself unto him. me thus. If your kind are to find salvation, they must be made to serve. You see, paradise lies but a single step away. Could we only take it? Could we only leave our transgressions behind? For none save the pure of heart and mind may set foot in the new world. I will save us. But it all begins and ends with you. You are the key, Mythos. Shall I prove my faith once more? So you forsook your kingdom. You forsook yourself to serve. Tell me, how is that living? <clears throat> what you seek to provide is not salvation. It's anything but. Life is about always having a choice. Take that away, and we might as well be dead. Very well. Come then. Show us the strength of your will. It's not the strength of my will that should worry you. But the weakness of yours. Your 
will the stronger. Prove it. By this day's end, you shall know. his vessel, and you cling to this foolish notion of hope, when there is none.
defeated. You admitted defeat the moment you turned your back on us. When you turned your back on the truth, Barnabas. We are not as weak as your god believes.
but the disappointment of lesser rivals. But no more. <laughs> Salvation is come! Rejoice is our sword of granted! Peace unending! How do you know this day is come? What proof have you? Your mere existence is proof of the Lord's grand design! know the truth. It is I who stand victorious. My will that prevailed. Your will? No. It was his. Clive Rossfield.
not relinquished my own. <laughs> You relinquish nothing. What was it, if not will, that made you strive for a new world? Strive to win your master's approval? I... You were shown a fantasy, and you chose to believe it. But you were wrong. There is no world but the one we live in. That world, that world is worth saving, even if it means killing a god. Just as the Lord's Mother Crystals have fulfilled theirs. Come, Clive Rossfield. Take what is rightfully yours. Become one with God. No. Show yourself! Face me! How does it feel to consume your rival's strength? To gorge yourself on their being? To edge step by trembling step ever closer to the divine? With or without a will, you are still but a vessel. Our vessel. Behold, how your body shudders in anticipation of its fate. Oh, it's not yours yet. No. Come then, O oh wayward child. We shall await you upon the back of the first worm. There, all shall end and begin again.
Why the hell is my city going with the captain? Don't ask me, ask them! Since when was Eugen Hamel one to hide when there was a fight to be had? Since they stripped me of my rank and banished me from the battlefield. Now I'm stuck wiping the backsides of this one while the city burns and my wife tells off the man half my age! And then you turn up! What the hell are you doing here anyway? What indeed? <laughs> The enemy numbers 200,000 or more counting the orcs. There are simply not enough soldiers counting in the capital to repel an army of that size. Then, one of the central keep, held by a contingent of soldiers and bearers from the surrounding forest. They are the sole reason it still stands. And all it took was an army on their doorstep to bring them together. The prospect of death does put things into perspective. <laughs> yeah, perspective. Perhaps it's what we've lacked all along. Our numbers are few, but I shall rally as many of my dragoons as I'm able. You, apprise the Lord Strategist of the state of the city's defenses. Yes, Your Radiance. And you would fight alongside us. I owe the Phoenix a debt. <laughs> Does this vouch for my nephews? Aye. But I still have my doubts about you. Which we can discuss later. Indeed. You said you had men garrisoned in the keep. Captain, do you know how many yet remain? Allow me to confirm. Commander? Whatever their number, Randalar will be needed. Gather the them bodies all. and build a pyre in the courtyard. Quickly. Terence. My lord. You will find a girl there. A girl? We are in the middle of a war. I owe her my life. And I always pay my debts. You are to see that she is provided for. Dion, I cannot leave. But you shall. If I am ever to be worthy of the forgiveness of our people, then I must earn it. And I must earn it by my hand, and my hand alone. Know that I do not ask this lightly. And know that I will do it. Farewell, Terence.
alive. Thank fuck. You all right? I am. But I'm a damn sight better for seeing you, Joshua. And Barnabas. The king is dead. Oh, they're... they're all... <laughs> they are, but so is their killer. He can't hurt anyone anymore. You're safe. I'm sorry, Clive. You know I want nothing more than to go with you. I do. But I'm glad you're heading back to the Enterprise nonetheless. And not just for Edda's sake. Our people need to know what happened here. You can count on me. As can she, I hope. Thank you, me lords. Do you think that was wise? Wiser than leaving a woman with child alone in the Deadlands. They'll be safer at the hideaway. For now, at least. This land is overrun with Akashic. The king himself was long turned, albeit by choice. All to serve Ultima in his damnable quest to forge the perfect vessel. The chaos Barnabas wreaked upon nation after nation. How many were killed for this? Oh, he didn't consider it killing, or a mercy of sorts, a way to end their suffering. He truly wanted to save mankind, and ultimately use that. As he uses us. But why us? What are we? What are we? We are dominant. That is our fate. But that doesn't mean we have to accept it, which is why we fight. For the right to deny it. Is that not so? It is. For our sins. Barnabas said something else. That the Mother Crystals were Ultimas. Ultimas? Are you certain? We know that the Mother Crystals have been leading the land of Ether. And we also know that it's this which hastens the spread of the Blight. But what I cannot fathom is what Ultima stands to gain from that. What did you find at the Stronghold? The truth about Ultima's prize. For so long, 
I believed it to be you. And you alone. Yet, it is not merely a freed that he desires, but a freed and phoenix both. That which we became in the skies over Twinside. Only when the twin flames are joined, shall his vessel be complete. Quite why he needs a vessel is another question. Unless there is something he cannot achieve without one. Something his immaterial form precludes. Something requiring an unthinkable amount of ether and a body resilient enough to channel it. If I did not know better, brother, I would think that he meant to cast a spell. A spell a thousand years in the making. A spell to end all spells. And he cannot do it without us. Nor without the Mother Crystals. But if we destroy them all, we will stop not only the Blight, but Ultima as well. We stick to the plan then. Only this time, we face him together. Well, it's a long walk to stone here. Let's not keep Ultima waiting. When Barnabas fell, his magic died with him. The road to stone here is barred to us no longer. Joshua. Faster! Bodies up ahead. Thanks, girl. Don't tell me. 
The only way to the capital... ...is through that gate. Just as you surmise. There's an army down there, Joshua. Yes. But I don't see any dominance. Ready, go? Help me, boy. 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 Help
We can rest here if you like. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Look, Clive. By the founder. The place is a fortress. Any bodies. One could almost believe the whole kingdom had turned to Kashek. Does it bother you that we haven't heard a single human sound? Everything about this place bothers me. This might take a while. before the storm. There's only one way into that city. Across the bridge. Through the main gate. Right into the midst of whatever is left of the Leg King's army. Are you ready for this? As ready as I'll ever be. So do I. Ugh! <sighs> 
It's a behemoth. Who would be mad enough to tame such a beast?
quickly before we're cut off for good. If it is like the others, the entrance to the inner sanctum will be at the foot of the crystal. We're almost there. Ugh! <laughs> 
Once we step onto that bridge, we'll be easy targets. Then we better move quickly.
Sentinel. The whole bloody army's here. Stand back, Joshua. I'm summoning a freight. Stop, Clive. You mustn't. We still have a long way to go. If you tap your strength here, you'll have none left to destroy the heart. Then you'd rather die? Surprised to see us. How did you? Gav. He told us exactly where you'd be. Even sniffed out a crack in the castle wall. And when we saw the heavens come crashing down, we had no choice but to believe him. <laughs> it's been quite a day. <laughs> to what do we owe this honor? A debt I would see repaid. Prince Dion. It's good to see you well. So, this must be Ifrit. Your uncle bade me give you a message. Listen to your heart and guide your steel true. Your father would expect no less. That is all. Thank you. For everything, Your Highness. Dion, please. You do realize the only thing we've freed so far is this wall from its foundations, right? Now, if your lord and ladyship's uh, quite finished. <laughs> well said, Gaff. We have work to do. Don't suppose there's how I can say to make you change your mind. Nan won't take kindly to losing her best customer. And we wouldn't want to anger old Nan. You mean, you'll buy some at offers? Welcome to Gootsy. You see, Clive, we're not alone. If we are to win the day, we must all play our part. And ours. Ours lies beyond those doors. We fought long and hard for this moment. Sid's dream, our dream, is within our grasp. We need only endure this final trial, and we shall, together. You all know what it is that awaits us beyond this gate. And we shall face it together. Aye. Aye. It seems our hosts would rather we remain. I will stay them. We will stay them. Go! Just don't keep us waiting. Thank you.
Joshua! Joshua! Wake up! Clive, is that you? This... This isn't stone here. Welcome to our darkness. A rift between worlds wherein your kind might reflect. Show yourself! Grave and many are the sins of man. And we would have you know them. All of them. As fate has seen fit to deliver you home, consider this our welcoming gift. Hmm. It would seem we are trapped. And the only way out is through Ultima. We find him and we leave. the blight. What of the mother crystals? I expect he'll tell us soon enough.
salvation, alas, was not readily to be had. First we would require a land unvisited by the stain of corruption. An unprecedented journey lay before us, one beyond the limits of our fleshly bodies, and so we cast them off. Thus stripped to our very spirit did we find our new paradise. A land as pure as driven snow, Valisthea. There would the true work begin, for the black crept yet behind us. And soon did we arrive at a solution, the illness having spread to every organ. There was but one escape from this fate, to start afresh. With a new world, the one for which Barnabas labored, a paradise free from the blight where his god awaits, and where, if we only forfeit our wills and abandon everything we hold dear, humanity can join him. So, Ultima would have us follow in the footsteps of the king. And follow we shall. For now. so blind to his own hypocrisy. Not blind, just unwilling to admit the truth. Though we're one and the same.
freed, or what's left of him. Long have our ashes lain cold for want of a spark. Cast your eyes upon them and see what you must become. Valisthea cannot endure a second claim upon her being. The avarice of man drives her ever closer to destruction. But she may yet be saved by you. It is what you were born to do. Why we nursed you and fed you as your own mother should have. And now that you are fully grown, our Muthos, it is time at last for you to serve your purpose. To right your wrongs. If our sin is wanting to survive, then you are as marked by it as we are. The fault is yours. Our wills were born because you abandoned us. And now, you would have us forfeit them. All for a place in your new paradise. Do you imagine yourselves worthy of one? Mankind has no place in our world. Is this truly so difficult to comprehend? We only ever require you, Muthos, when the time comes to bid this wretched realm farewell. None shall follow, none shall remain. What do you mean, none? This is our world. Once the land's rebirth is complete, humanity will have served its purpose. Why would we continue to suffer that which has caused us so much vexation? Because the land doesn't belong to you. It belongs to us all! What? That is where you are mistaken. You own nothing but your precious will. Brother. I can't do this alone. And you don't have to. I grow weary of your descent. Now you must learn that this master will not tolerate disobedience. My friends, my family, we have all suffered, all fought to survive. This world may be flawed, it may be broken, but it's all we have. And if we can't share it, I see only one other choice. You have to go. You may have created us, Ultima. It's time we lived on our own terms. This isn't your world anymore. It's us. Bow down, offenders. Hearts this day.
sublimed through game standing. Only with heads hung low is penance paid. O oh, wretched mortals incapable even of contrition. In fitting season shall we reap our harvest. this chance and still you would raise your hand against the Lord what now the darkness bends he means to end us it wouldn't be the first time but let's make it his last your fate is inexorable. Surrender the vessel unto the darkness. Surrender it unto us.
countless generations have we awaited this moment. have made you strong, yet your soul remains heavy with sin. Absolution is nigh. Repent, and all shall be forgiven. Tell me, Clive, how many lives have you saved since taking my name? Fewer than we have ruined. Wherever we go, we leave a sea of tears in our wake. These... these are the wages of your will, son. What good are our choices when all they ever bring all they will ever bring is death. There's no atoning, Clive. No, no matter how hard you try. So why not leave it all behind? Leave it all behind. Somebody save me! Won't anybody love me? I yearn, yet still she is not mine. Have I not given enough? From will is born desire, and it is this which consumes you, rendering you incomplete. Do you not see how the world bends and warps under the weight of your hungering hearts? What if it could all just go away? Just... go away? None of this is real. Wake up. It's time to go home, Clive. Clive. That's right. You're my brother. 
brother. Once more, lest you forget. <laughs> My name is Clive. Clive Rossfield. Look, Ultima. Even here, the light of the vessel's will cannot be quenched, and the phoenix, his trespass should not have been possible. Not possible unless... Unless he has been with Muthos all along. The mark of the phoenix emblazoned upon his heart, made manifest by the power of will alone. The power of creation. Can it be? Are their wills truly so potent? Are you still talking? Sorry to wake you, but I think it may be time to leave. This place... Eh? And once again, does my creation stray from the path laid before it? Steeped in conceit, you fancy yourself a god. You embrace Logos. But we will put an end to this hubris. What are you talking about? In the halls of origin, does our true power quicken. And there shall you be made complete. Soon, Muthos, soon you will discover how little 
you know of suffering. So the crystals are no more, yet in their silence a new song rings, its chorus building, a crescendo as it enters its final movement, stirring those long a slumber to waking. Bloody crystals cracked, so where the hell are they? Oh, fuck me. Is that... ether? What in good Grieger's name is going on? This is wrong. Are we back? Clyde! Joshua! Jill! Is everyone all right? We're fine. What happened? Too much to explain here. Mate! We're leaving! Now! Everyone, fall back to the ship! I will be with you, Anon. Thank you. Tell everyone what happened to Drake's spine. And I'm going to need Otto's help. There's something about it.
Still alive, I see. Something tells me... It's a long story. One that I'd rather only tell once. Right. All hands on deck, then. Is this everyone? As I'm sure you've all guessed, the crystal which now commands the eastern skies was summoned by Ultima. He called it Origin. Though the significance of that name is as yet unclear. What does it matter what it's called? Its emergence tore Twinside asunder and wiped my homeland from the map. Mention of the Dominion Spires can be found in the oldest of Valisthian records. But to the best of my knowledge, none provide any hint as to their true nature. That they would prove the horns of some slumbering demon. Well, the Dominion's demise was at least quick. Elsewhere, the Republican army cannot hope to contain the chaos engulfing Randalar. Canva is in flames, and the Empire... Our allies are crying out for answers. I've said the curse breakers to give them what assurances we can, but right now that amounts to fuck all. They wouldn't be able to stop what the skies have started in any case. People here and across the realm grow sicker with every passing day. Could it be that this new mother crystal is like the others? That it draws upon the land's ether? It certainly looked that way, from stone here. If that were true, it would explain the hastening spread of the Blight since the Crystal's appearance. Would it not? And as the land's ether slowly rises to the surface, it pools. Corrupting all who cannot channel its energies. Arche above, Ether floods below, and in the middle, here we languish, hopelessly entrapped. <laughs> it's all right. When we faced him at Stone here, Ultima told us his true power quickens in the Halls of Origin. Needless to say, we cannot allow that to continue. If we are to stop him, we will have to find a way into the crystal. How are we going to manage that then? It's up in the sky. And fast as she is, the Enterprise can't fly. <laughs> it's a lot to take in, and I reckon we'd all benefit from some time to clear our heads. The answer will come to us. Don't you worry. Ain't that right, Clive? Right. That's right. Well, go on, then. Bugger off. Same goes for you, Clive. You won't solve anything like this. Trust me. Go and get some fresh air, right? Eh? Thank you. Joshua seemed upset. Ultima may have created us, but he doesn't make us who we are. Only we can do that. And if he would have us fight for our survival, 
So be it. It's what we've been doing all along. Much like Ultima himself, it would seem. His new world being naught but a means to survive. And so, we must contend to decide which of us shall inherit the land. Should Ultima prevail, it will mean death for us all. Of that, we can be certain. But even should he fail, what world awaits us? A withered, godless place where our newfound freedom will most like prove a chain in itself. Well, that may be, but a chain can always be broken. As long as one has the will to break it, it won't be easy. It may take generations, centuries of suffering. And that is if everyone plays their part. But it will happen. And when it does, it will be on our terms. That is the world that awaits us. <laughs> Indeed. And what better world could one wish for? But first, we have to reach that crystal. Then it's a good thing I have wings. You can barely stand, let alone fly. And only the Founder knows what horrors await in those skies. Are you certain about this? Am I certain? I am the Phoenix. I will do what I must. This is our fight. Remember? All right. I yield. But only what you must, yes? I'm still your sworn shield. That you are. And what of my wings? Lest you forget, you go to stand against a god. I would not have you succumb to fatigue before the fight begins. Ifrit, your brother mentioned that some few of the Dominants who had lost their power to you were still able to prime. Is that true? It is. But their icons no longer submitted to their will. 
<sighs> then mine will have to be stronger. That you both might save your strength for the battle to come. You don't have to do this. If you do, there's a chance you might lose all you have left. And what have I but regret? My life ended in the Dominion. I fear death no more. Besides, I would have words with Ultima. He has much to answer for. We are in your debt, Dion. We can speak of debts when this is over. Speaks like a man who knows he's not coming back. And has come to terms with that. That doesn't mean that we have to, does it, Kaif? Time to talk to Jill. I only hope she understands. weighing you down. Is that all? First the skies. to wish on a star. <sighs> that might not be such a bad idea. This is it, Jill. You know what I have to do. Why I have to do it. There's no turning back now. This is where our journey was leading us. Where it will end. For better or worse. I could pray to Metia for you. But you'll be all right, won't you, Clive? You always are. I did promise we'd watch the moon together. I'll be waiting. Oh, 
five. If you see me dad up there, tell him we were right to leave his legacy with you. <laughs> tell him he'll be in the front row. There's no way he'd miss this. Well, behave yourself, Mitt. We'll see. So, you're in charge now, Gav. And what does Taya have to say about that? Come back before she finds out, eh? I shall pray for your safe return. That's kind of you, but you should pray he took his medicine. I didn't spend all night grinding herbs for his lordship to leave them on his nightstand. Again. <laughs> you needn't fear, Lady Dyer. And thank you. See that your brother comes back in one piece. Or, at most, two. Any more and you can heal him yourself. I'll keep that in mind. Well, there's nothing to say that hasn't already been said. But that never stopped me before, so just you do what needs doing. And don't worry about us. We'll do our best, Uncle. That we will. Hmm. If that is all? Not quite. Jill. It's time, isn't it? It is. Take care of him. <laughs> and you. You take care of her too, boy. Don't forget, Clive. We all choose our own path. Believe in yours. I do. I know. I love you too. to kill.
Jacob! Hold on, Joshua! Already am! So, this is Origin. A far cry from heaven. Where it all began. Where it all begins. Our Ark. Your architect. There you are. It was here that we slumbered, here that we waited for centuries, clinging to our decrepit shell for fear that we might have need of it once again. But you have come at last. And now we shall be truly complete. Well? There's three of us, and one of him. Let's make it count.
Had you only surrendered, this unpleasantness could have been avoided. No. Did I mention you look terrible? <laughs> that makes two of us. Oh, I'll be all right. And Dion. You, I'll be... <coughs> Come on. Thank you.
Press on. Always. Don't be. Please. He did what he had to do. And it's time we did the same. <coughs> Should we stop? Not because of the cough. No, I think we're past that, Clive. <laughs> I suppose we are. Instead of those waiting for us at home. self-preservation. You condemned an entire world so that you alone might escape death. Alone? Him. Alone. Life. I think I understand. He... Well, you have both served us well. 
Welcome home, brother. theirs that grew stronger. of Ifrit, and the healing flames of the Phoenix. This, I once believed, would be Ultima's true form. But I was wrong. I see it now. Why you will never become Ultima's vessel. I don't care. Just hold on. Listen to me, Clive. You remember the murals? People once knew that Ultima was their god. That he created them. And they worshipped him, prayed to him, looked to him for guidance. In vain. In vain. For he did not listen, did not acknowledge our will. And so we strayed from his path to forge one of our own. So absorbed was he in his own desires, so driven by his own will alone, that he shunned the one thing that could have made him truly powerful. Faith. The same faith people now place in you. Faith that you will fulfill their dream, Sid's dream, of creating a better world for us. Faith that you will follow in Father's footsteps and save those who need saving most. Faith that you will answer Jill's plea to save yourself. The difference is, Clive, that you chose to listen, and that is what has steeled our bonds. Bonds that helped you stand firm when Ultima's pole was at its strongest. His power may be absolute, but so is ours, and so will yours be. With my light in your heart, not even a god might stop us. Joshua! Don't, don't do it, you're... Enough, Clive. My body is too far gone. If the wound does not take me, the curse will. <laughs> Always been 
for being my brother. Still here with me to the end. Even now, you would deny the inevitable.
expected. How is it that your will yet endures? Because it's not so easily broken. But it can be broken. And I shall see it so. For such is my will. Try it.
is inviolable. Something is wrong. You're afraid. You always have been. From the moment the Blight exposed what you were, weak, you conceived us to prove otherwise. But the result shook you to the core. For in us you saw yourself, and realized we had the potential to be more than you could ever be. And so you turned your back on your creation. Your back on the world, like the coward you are. You think you know me? You know nothing, Logos. Nothing. In light, I stand above you, my rebirth complete. And you, for your defiance, shall pay the proper price. An eternity of anguish. Anguish. Pain. Suffering. You have known none of these. But we have. So we know what they grant. They bring us together. And that makes us strong. Thank <laughs> you. 
the hands that could have raised you higher. I do not need you, you or anyone. And that is where we are different. I could not have made it here on my own. I carry with me the hopes and dreams of my brothers, my sisters. And it is they who will give me the strength to end your reign. you imagine will befall this world now that you have gained your precious freedom? I honestly don't know. But I doubt it will be pretty. A sorry tale of sin and suffering, hardship and pain. And it was for this that you fought so fiercely? Why? It's who we are. We fight, we survive, we endure. We don't need a reason. We are imperfect creatures. When we stumble, we reach for a shoulder to lean on. When we fall, we stand back up. We see the horizon ever out of reach and still we march on. Certain the answers lie just beyond it. Because that is our way. My congratulations. Relish this victory, knowing that you have but delayed the inevitable. Your world is already dead. May you enjoy an eternity on its blackened husk.
It seems Ultima's power was too great for this vessel all along. But what I have it. Perhaps I can use it to set things right. And see Ultima's legacy. Bearers, dominance, crystals, magic. Consigned to the flames. Even if it means the end of me.
to you the most beautiful thing. He is, isn't he? What are you gonna call him? Let me see, let me see. Ah, oh, read little one. I've got a smile for your Uncle Gav. Not so loud, you bird. What? I was only... Shh! You're scaring him. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> A sky of scattered tears A thousand years apart It wanted. That's what they both wanted. journey end. <laughs> yeah. oh. uh, uh, every time. Will you light it? Yes, Mother. Come on, if only I had the flame. 
Flames were an icon. Icon? Have you been reading that silly story again? <laughs> Magic belongs in fairy tales, and fairy tales don't boil kettles. You see? Well done. Now, be a good lad, and play with your brother until supper. Come on, hurry, hurry! Right. Right, let's play the saint in the sector. No, I don't want to be mad. What do you want to play then? War of the Icons! Again? Um, right. And I get to be a freak. Right, I'm the older brother. Oh, Bahamut says so. 